How's it going everyone? It's Mark from Boxer Rumbling Lifestyle and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of that error negative five zero you know the, vin the video rendering error that some people might encounter in iMovie when they try to export or upload videos to YouTube. So come on let's get started. So while we wait for that I want to tell you what I'm using. The program that I am using is iMovie for the MacBook Air and it is version 10.0.9 the newest version of this iMovie. So as you guys can see, I got the share failed and I'm gonna click on the details and see what the error is. So after I click the details, it told me exporting car wash has failed due to a video rendering error of negative five zero. So right now we're gonna try to go ahead and fix this error so we can get your videos uploaded. So first thing you wanna do is exit out of this and what I did was I went to my actual video because it downloaded a majority of it. So it's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. So there it is. As I can see down here, my video originally was 11 minutes long, but it only stopped at 10 minutes and 10 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of the video and see where it stopped because the video rendering error means that there might be a fault in the actual video like maybe like some mess up uh, clips or bad video so right now I'm actually watching the video to see where it messes up at and as you see there it seemed like I have a bad video clip because the video started breaking apart and it just stopped right where it broke apart so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to exit out of this video. I noticed that it was 10 minutes and 10 seconds into the video. So what I'm going to do is go to that exact spot in my iMovie. 10 minutes and 10 seconds seem to be right around here. So I am going to enlarge. I'm going to enlarge my video. But, thanks for watching. But, pretty other than that, those are some of the major upgrades that I would like to add. See? As you just saw right there, it had a little malfunction. It kind of made bad video graphic. Other than that, just watching this area. And there it goes. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to clip that part out. So, I zoomed in as far as I can go. I'm going to try to find that spot. So there it is, it's right around here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and split the clip. And there it goes, that's where it goes. Let's split it again, backspace. Try to, I'm trying to crop that, cut that part out. So as you can see, I cut it out and create. I uh, got rid of the bad video part. So I'm going to replay the video from this area and just see if it gives me any video errors again. So some of the major upgrades that would like to add. I would like to try to get to stage three one of these days. And there was no video error right there. So what I'm going to do again is go to the share file and I'm going to save it again. And make sure you want to replace over the one that you did save. So I did that. And right now, I am waiting for it to download again. And we're going to see if we get that same error. So there we have it, guys. It looks like all I needed to do was to cut out the bad clip that was causing my video so much problems. And then once I did that, I went ahead and tried to save it as a file again and it came out share was successful so we'll go ahead and I'll show you and there it is the whole video and everything so remember guys all you need to do is whenever it gives you that error go immediately open up the file watch the video all the way, well, you don't have to watch it all the way to the end, just fast forward it to the end 
it would, sh it would show you what part of the video was giving you trouble. Go back into iMovie, cut that bad video clip out, and then share it again or export it as a file, and most likely it will work. If it doesn't work again, try to watch it where it left off again. Maybe you didn't clip enough, cut enough of it out, but make sure that you get that bad image out. Make sure you like and share so other people can get the same knowledge and the same how-to to get rid of this error. I know it's real hassle for me trying to figure it out, but once I did, it made all my uploading and exporting a whole lot easier. And make sure you subscribe for more how-to videos on this or anything else. So just like always guys, take it easy and see y'all next time.